going to show you some really good food here because I'll tell you what, vegetables right now, they're looking great. The peppers are looking great, things of that nature. Get you some fresh vegetables, make you a really good tasting meal that overall is fairly healthy. I know we've got the rice here. That's going to be your carbs for sure. And yeah, we got a little bit of sugar over there too, but overall, it's a really good meal, not much to it. It's got a lot of vegetables as you see here. Now, I'm not going to call it pepper steak because I'm not using steak, but I'm using the exact same ingredients for the sauce and everything else, except making it a little bit more healthier, using chicken instead. This is chicken breast, diced up, already cut. I boiled it, try to get it a little more tender. Um, so, you know, if you want to cook it inside the pan with it, with it being raw and just cook it with the vegetables, that's okay too, but I want you to keep in mind, I like my vegetables really crunchy when it comes to my pepper chicken. That's what I'm going to call this. So you want to add those last. So here are the ingredients. We'll go ahead and throw the chicken in there just so we can start getting that warmed up. This does require a lot of soy sauce. That's your main base for this. And by the way, we'll also throw in just a little bit of uh, olive oil on that chicken, maybe to give it a little bit of a sear. So as I mentioned earlier, this does require quite a bit of soy sauce with this, uh, which can be very salty, I'm sure, as you well know. So what I like to do, I actually get the lower sodium, about 50% less sodium with this. So you're gonna put your soy sauce in here. Now, I've almost pretty much tripled this recipe, if you will, because I want to make sure I have enough for everybody here at the station. So this is about three-fourths of a cup there of soy sauce, and you are going to want to bring all this to a boil. Red pepper flakes, don't use too many. They can get a lot of heat, especially when you have a sauce that it can simmer in. So just a small pinch there of red pepper flakes. This is a uh, combination of water and cornstarch. We'll use that last. Here is some brown sugar. If you want to use just regular sugar, by all means, go ahead. But when you want some really good flavor, throw in some brown sugar instead. This is about a teaspoon there of brown sugar. I also prefer to add ginger with mine. Uh, some folks don't like ginger. You can leave it out. That just gives it another layer of flavor. Add about a tablespoon of ginger in there. Your minced garlic. If you don't have any, you can go with the garlic powder. I really don't prefer that. Just the, it just doesn't do it justice, in my opinion. So get that really good minced garlic uh, from the store. I mean, it, it comes in containers already minced for you. Um, you get a better effect if you mince it yourself, and you're right there on the spot. I use a grater or a food processor to cut it up. And that's all you have to do right there. Now, then you start mixing everything up here. And again, going to get it to a boil because we're going to be using cornstarch here uh, in just a little bit. And that cornstarch really thickens it up for us, makes it even more into a sauce. Use cold water with your cornstarch, by the way. So you can already see we're already getting some really good color there on our chicken. Let's just add some more awesome color with this. What I have here is a diced up red pepper. I then also have a diced up green pepper. And then also a, a diced up orange pepper with that, and then I have some onion as well. Now, you might have noticed I have made really big chunks on these onions and these peppers. That's the way I like it when it comes to this recipe. You know, some recipes say diced onion, minced onion, things of that nature. I prefer to have mine really big with a really good crunch. So that's why I added them in last. Going to turn up my heat to get that boil going now. But until it gets boiling, just continue to stir everything. Uh, keep it nice and coated with that soy sauce. And I already have the rice prepared over here on the side. With the rice, uh, you can do a white sticky rice if you prefer. Um, I prefer a jasmine rice to go with it. Jasmine rice just has a little bit more flavor. And of course, as you know with food, it's all about presentation. I mean, I sometimes I think presentation alone makes the food taste even better. So instead of just getting some white rice, if you want to impress your family or some friends uh, that you may be cooking for, when you get your rice, just take a container something here. I just have a small uh, cup that's made to put whatever you want to in it when it comes to your food. I've got my rice in there. And there you go. Now you've got yourself just like a little stack of rice. Going to now get my cornstarch and water combination. Uh, if you add it together and then let it sit for a while, you're going to have to stir it again. Uh, cornstarch and water really do begin to separate not too long after. So corn, uh, cornstarch here, cold water, a boiling pot of whatever you may be using, kind of evenly spread it out through there. Hold on to some of that cornstarch because I tell you what, uh, a little bit goes a long way when it comes to cornstarch. So you don't want to pour too much in there because then you might get a little bit of a gritty taste. Or with this recipe, I need to add a little bit more. And it does not take long to thicken by any means. So once it's all done, which pretty much 
as you see here, it is wrapped up. There's my plate. We'll get you a scoop. Check that out right there. Looking absolutely delicious. And look how quickly it took to make that. Pepper chicken, it's great stuff. Now again, not too bad for you. Ron's got a forecast coming up next.